I just want to celebrate another game we're winning. I just want to celebrate. Sens win 4 nothing over the Anaheim Ducks. Yes! Hallelujah. 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 They beat the Ducks! They can't score, they can't defend, and they can't win! Some accomplishment! Please just let me have this! The Ducks suck! They've now lost six in a row and been outscored 31 to 6 in those games! I hate you. Well, since I'm apparently not allowed to celebrate a Sens victory, let's just get into lineup changes. With the Sens on the second night of a back-to-back, Anders Nilsson got the start and goal after Craig Anderson started the first of the back-to-back -back in Toronto on Wednesday. Aside from that, the Sens made just a single change as Ben Harper drew out of the lineup and newly recalled Cody Golabeff drew in as the 29-year-old made a Sens debut. In the early going, the Sens get a little lucky as former Sen Derek Grant rings one off the post. That post would prove huge too as the Sens would come back a few minutes later and make no mistake on their own chance. After having one pulled off the goal line in Toronto on Wednesday, Brady Kachuk made sure to make no mistake on this one. Mark Stone pulls the puck out of the skates of Ryan Kessler and throws one on goal. John Gibson turns it aside, Brady Kachuk picks up the rebound, fires it by Gibson, and the Sens lead 1-0. Let's go! Brady's first goal since January 16th, six straight games without a goal, and just one in his last 18 going into last night. What a time to get back in the goal column. Hopefully this gives him some confidence, and he's able to bag a few over the next couple games. I have to say though, while not scoring, it's not like Brady hasn't had his chances. They just haven't been going in for him. Hopefully they start going in now. Despite being outshot 17-8 in the period, Nelson holds the fort, and we head to the first intermission with the Sens still in front 1-0. Nelson and Gibson continue holding the fort until late in the period when Matt Duchesne gets loose. Chris Tierney leads the rush coming out of the Sen zone and feathers a beautiful saucer pass into the middle. Matt Duchesne picks it up and races in with Devin Shore chasing. He uses his backhand to protect the puck, pulls it to his forehand, quickly roofs one over Gibson, and the Sens lead 2-0. What a classic Duchesne goal. It's a big time goal too, as it gives the Sens a two goal cushion with under two minutes left in the second period. The game would stay 2-0 until the third, when the Sens would extend their lead. When we come back for the third, Gibson is out after being run over by Magna in the Duchesne goal, and Chad Johnson is in. Doesn't much matter though, as like I mentioned, the Sens would extend their lead. The Sens have some pressure in the duck zone. Cody Cece pinches down the wall to keep the pressure alive. He sends a pass to Chris Tierney, who one touches a pass to the top of the circle to Mark Stone. He picks a spot, fires it through a giant screen, and by Johnson, who never saw it, and the Sens lead 3-0. That's Stone's first goal in five games, as the Sens are snapping all the streaks. The Sens keep coming, Chris Tierney rings one off the post, but you can be sure the Sens will score again. The Ducks have some chances on a late power play, but can't beat Nilsson. And with the Ducks losing, you can be sure it'll be free goal time very soon. And sure enough, Johnson goes to the bench, Duchesne picks up the puck at the Sens' blue line, fights off three Ducks players, hits the red line, fires it in the empty net, and the Sens lead 4-0. Really? Down 3 nothing with less than a minute left and you're going to keep your goalie pulled? I just don't get it. I've seen some wild comebacks in hockey games this year, including a comeback from 3 nothing down with less than 2.10 to go. But this? It's just ridiculous. As a Sens fan, I'll take it. And I'm sure Duchesne will as well, as that's his 24th of the season and second of the game as he helps lead the Sens to a 4 nothing win. Ducks or not, what a glorious night. A Sens win and a Sens shutout. You can't ask for much more than that. As always though, let's get in to good news, bad news. The Sens got a shutout last night, thanks in large part to an excellent game from Anders Nilsson, and that is the good news. Nilsson has played nine games with the Sens since being acquired from Vancouver. He's had some stinkers for sure, 
like his last start in Pittsburgh and his first start as a Sen. But for the most part, he's been very good since the trade. His 903 save percentage in San Jose was his worst in a stretch of five games, and in his last seven games, he's only had one bad game, and that was the one in Pittsburgh. Since coming over to Ottawa, Nilsson has a 934 save percentage as a Sen, and if you take out the bad game in Pittsburgh and the two bad games to start his Sen's career, that number skyrockets to 962. Nilsson has been very good so far with the Sens, and last night was no different. When the Ducks pressed, Nilsson was there to keep them at bay. Anytime your goalie faces 45 shots and gets a shutout, you've got to give him some credit. But it wasn't just the shots. The Ducks also had 36 scoring chances. Nilsson was equal to the task every time. And when he wasn't, the post was. But as the old saying goes, you've got to be lucky to be good and good to be lucky. And Nilsson was both on this night. The Sens needed a big effort from their goaltender, and Nilsson gave them one as he was excellent last night, and that is good news. Now, for the bad news. I have to admit, I'm being a little nitpicky today. Yes, the Sens got the win, and yes, they got the shutout, but it was against the Ducks, so it barely counts, and that is the bad news. It's always nice to win, and it's great to get the shutout, but the Sens need to do it against somebody other than Anaheim. If the Sens can get on a bit of a run, that would be nice, but they seem to be working in starts and stops right now. They can beat the Ducks, because who can't, but they find a way to lose against nearly everyone else. The Sens took advantage of a weak Ducks team, and that is the bad news. Next up, the Sens return to action on Saturday for a Hockey Day in Canada matinee against the Winnipeg Jets. The contest will be the first of two straight Saturdays against the Jets, and will be the first of four games featuring all seven Canadian teams. Coming into the contest, it's the Jets who have dominated the recent head-to-head -head meetings, having won four in a row, with their last loss coming in March 2016. And the Sens' last win on home ice came in November 2015. The Jets also come in having a significant advantage in play so far this season, as they sit 26 points ahead of the Sens, who are last in the league standings, while the Jets are third. The Jets do come in losers of two straight, and have Patrick Laine ice cold. Please keep them that way. See you Saturday afternoon. Sens win 4-0? Who'd they...